Mist Valley Arts and Entertainment. Passion Burns. Help us be a bonfire for your soul. Hello everybody, this is Mist Valley Entertainment News, and my name is Dredd, and uh, a little late getting to the party here for the Game Awards, but you know what, uh, it, it's winter time, and uh, I've been busy at work, first of all, second of all, it, it is winter time, and everything slows down, everything you do takes more planning, uh, more more energy, and more time because it's winter, so uh, between that and work, put me a little bit behind, but that's okay. Uh, apparently gazing at what I'm doing right now, I'm too lazy to change the background screen, or I just don't feel like restarting this. So we're going with the Skyrim background. Obviously, we should have a nice Larian background with Baldur's Gate, so forgive me. Okay, moving on. So as I was saying, I am a bit late uh, covering the Game Awards. I figured I would jump in here and have my say uh, for those who are interested or uh, just maybe those who haven't kept up on the news. So obviously, um, we're here on, on this page here, and as you can see, uh, this is the GameAwards.com, nominees, Game of the Year, winners, all that stuff. We're, uh, we're all over this. Uh, the links to this and some other stuff will be down below, so check that out if you want to. So obviously, uh, our main thoughts here are with Game of the Year category. Uh, I won't hold the category back with any manufactured suspense. Hardy, hearty congratulations go out to the expected winner. Excuse me, Larian Studios for the win by Baldur's Gate 3 for Game of the Year. Now, being expected to win does not by any means diminish the achievement. Um, I mean, lots of times there's fans and uh, sometimes even, you know, studios that just assume that they have Game of the Year all wrapped up and all the bag. And um, anyone who's been online... Uh, during like September, October-ish of, of this calendar year, um, might attest to the fervency of the belief by some people that Starfield was, quote, the best game ever made. Yes, many people had that exact quote. Hmm. Those words didn't exactly stand the test of time, did they, people? Now, being passionate is awesome, and it's something game, many gamers are, obviously. Uh, it, it's awesome, but so is having a freaking clue about the difference between I really enjoy playing this game and this game is the best game ever made. What can else can I say but cheese, people? All right, moving on. Anyways, my sincere congratulations to Larian Studios for picking up this prestigious award. Here is a video clip of studio hand Sven Venki and some others accepting their award. Sven in, as usual, full plate armor. So let's take a look at this. And the game of the year is... Baldur's Gate 3. Of course it was. will be the only clip I'm sharing with you here, so enjoy it. Um, I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, I want to thank nice. over 2,000 people. Nice. So sit back and relax. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I also... I uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners, uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I knew in early access this game was going to be something very, very incredible. In fact, in order not to spoil the game, because I knew how incredible it was going to be, I did not even complete early access. I literally quit early access before I got to the end of the early access because I didn't want to spoil the game. That being said, I had no idea when the game actually came out how incredibly big this game was going to be. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a daunting task to get through it. Kudos to all of you who did. Um, as somebody who plays multiple games at a time, I've had difficulty um, even getting through the first act, which I haven't yet done. Um, but uh, on my channel, Miss Valley Gaming, we are going to be taking another run early this next year at Baldur's Gate all the way through. So um, let's see. So let's run through a couple of other uh, congratulations that I would wish to express. Um, Alan Wake 2, a game that I, I, I know a lot of people were very vocally excited about on the internet. That's fine. Received awards for Best Narrative and Best Art Direction. So congratulations to Alan Wake 2. Uh, the award for Best Action Game went to Armored Core 6. I saw a little bit of gameplay on that. Very cool. Uh, Best Action Adventure Game went to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And Best Fighting Game went to Street Fighter 6. So congrats to those games and their studios for your hard work. As far as games that I've actually played, I was overjoyed to see CD Projekt Red win the award for Best Ongoing, which I had to do a quick look at to see what they meant. It's an award given out for Outstanding Development of Ongoing Content. And after the DLC they dropped this fall, I get it. I understand why. I haven't yet played it, but I'm going to. Um, CD Projekt Red won, of course, for their game Cyberpunk 2077. I have played a, a ton of that. Uh, again, have not yet got through it because I would end up abandoning it for a couple weeks, spin saver or something else, and then have a hard time going back. Um, some of these larger games like this need to be done when I'm not doing anything else and just devote myself to it. But as somebody who wants to stream or put out videos on everything they do in games, it's difficult. All right. So finally, Larian Studios and Baldur's Gate 3 picked up several more awards besides just winning Game of the Year. Actor Neil Newborn won for Best Performance for his work on Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, Larian also picked up awards for Best Game Direction, Best Community Support, Best RPG, and Best Multiplayer, making it a total of six awards for Larian Studios this year. Nicely done, gentlemen and ladies. So nice job, Larian, and thank you so much for the love and support you show both for your games and also for your fans. And congrats to everyone who won and also those who were just nominated. That is quite the achievement. And that is my very short coverage of the 2023 Game Awards. For Miss Valley Entertainment News, my name is Dredd. Drop down into the comments section and let me know what you thought of the award show this year and uh, if you think the winners were deserved or not. You can also check out the links to my other channels and content in the description down below. And with that, Brent and I bid you a very happy time gaming. From Miss Valley Entertainment News, my name is Dredd. Good night. <laughs>